Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Knife Chats with Tobias. One of the patterns I love to collect from Case are their medium toothpicks. Uh, main reason I collect uh, Case medium toothpicks is because, well, they don't make the large toothpicks anymore. So trying to pick up a large toothpick from Case uh, is not only somewhat difficult, it's also very expensive. Whereas the medium toothpicks are still in that affordable range for me for a USA made knife. They tend to run right around there between 50 and $60 if you're picking it up in a bone. Uh, so far I've only picked up uh, three, well, four now. Uh, so far what I have picked up, and this was the first one I picked up, which is the, uh, um, the uh, amber peach seed jig bone, which is the most common uh, bone used by Case. Uh, then I have the uh, saw cut jig bone over here which is pretty cool and then i also have the 6.5 bone stag which is really nice too uh, but uh, i've been looking to pick up a new one from case and i finally broke down and got one because well it was a color that i really liked uh, and that's really what it came down to i was just looking for something that i really liked the looks of and the one i grabbed is right here the uh Green Apple Smooth Bone, uh, medium Texas toothpick. Uh, that's the 53031, that's the work order number. But the pattern number, wait, no, the work order number is the 58252. This is the number of this specific knife, the 53031. Um, the pattern number though is 610094. SS for stainless steel and this one was born on March 24th 2023 um, I'm guessing the work order number refers to uh, who they were making it for and you know also something to do with the date but this is the uh, model number they were using for the 53031 um, which is something uh, that you probably don't care about at all really what you want to do is like I do I want to see the knife and uh, I have had this out of the box a couple times because, well, the folks at Kitty's Corner have already seen this knife. But in any case, here it is in the wonderful uh, Green Apple Bone Smooth. I think I'm going to just call it the Green Apple, though. And uh, what I really like on this knife is the, the shield there. Notice the black enamel case long tail C shield. I really like that. It really sets off against the bone there. Looks like nickel silver pins are in there too. And the bone side to side uh, matches really well. And you know, I got to tell you, that really looks like the, uh, the peel on a green apple. So they did a really good job of matching that to a green apple. Um, obviously nickel silver bolsters and Case uses a plain bolster on the majority of their toothpicks, their medium toothpicks, which is really nice. You've got the brass liners going on there, and as you can see, there's no gapage going on there whatsoever. Uh, line up, that's pretty good. Uh, not dead center, but pretty close to dead center. I think it does fe uh, favor the shield side ever so little bit. Uh, Opens up nicely. Got some fingerprints on the blade there. That's because when you're talking mirror polish, Case knows what they're talking about when they're doing mirror polish. This blade is nice and polishy, shiny. Um, edge isn't too bad. You can see it there. Might be a little toothy. It is used in the case True Sharp Stainless Steel. Uh, yeah, if you try hard enough, you can feel a, a little bit of a wobble in the blade. So all the case haters are out there are already going, I knew there was going to be a problem. I knew there was going to be blade wobble. Yeah, well, not that big of a deal to me. At least with the amount of blade wobble that has gone on here, it's not going to affect the use of the knife whatsoever. And uh, decent enough action. Yeah, Case does not do a half stop on their knives, especially on their toothpicks. Well, they don't do. They do a half stop on some knives. They just don't do it on their toothpick. And I really don't like a half stop on a toothpick. 
Um, I'd say the pull on this is about four or five, which is typical of a case toothpick. Yeah, same as all the other case toothpicks. So if you're used to the medium toothpick uh, from case, this is right up there with it. About the same as all of the other ones. Um, some people say they feel that the blade twists on here. I'm not feeling any kind of blade twist whatsoever on here. It feels uh, fine all the way down. The one thing I do feel is just a little bit of toothiness in the grind there at the very tip. Uh, let me grab a sheet of paper. Okay, I doubled it up so it's not going to be a good test, but that's it there. Guess I'm not returning it because I'm cutting up the return for it. It goes through that paper pretty good, I think. Give it a little jab and it'll go in there. I'm a lousy paper cutter. I'll tell you that right now. But the knife, it'll cut. Pretty happy with it. Again, 420 HC or a case true sharp stainless steel. There we have the... Uh, what do we got there? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven dots left. 2023, that makes sense. You got three on the top, four on the bottom. And uh, just a really good looking knife. I tell you, that really looks like the apple peel to me. And it's uh, just one of those favorite shades I got. I, I really like that shade of greens. And that's why I just had to pick up this knife. And uh, it, it really sets off that... Uh, black the enamel black shield there so all in all just a terrific knife for me um very happy with it does come with the new case uh packaging uh which i also like i like the black box it looks really cool so there you have it my uh fourth uh case medium toothpick oh for those who don't know four and a quarter inches uh closed uh three and three eighths inch blade open so the overall length of this knife is right there at uh, about seven and a half inches and uh well three and three eighths of an inch is uh, on the cutting edge so if you have that three inch restriction on you this knife is probably illegal to carry for you but there you have it the case uh medium toothpick made in usa by wr case and son Let me take just a second to thank you once again for dropping by and spending a few minutes here at Knife Chats with Tobias. I really do appreciate it and I do appreciate any comments that you leave. So please uh, remember to give me that thumbs up and also don't forget to 
subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode is up and running. Thanks again for dropping by. Really do appreciate your time here.